Hey everybody, my name is Dave, and I have an Exustor. It's a NAS. It has four bays, and I use it to store all my multimedia, pictures, things like that. But there are some great apps on the Exustor in their App Central. And today we're going to talk about downloads. We're going to talk about torrents, we're going to talk about direct downloads, we're going to talk about NZBs, and all the apps that you can use on your Exustor uh, to get this job done. Now normally I go on a computer and you download all these programs. You have to keep your computer running all the time. And most of us have laptops and we want to take them with us. We don't want to have to be seeding uh, torrents or letting programs download TV shows and content. Uh, but we need something stationary. And the Zoo Store, or NAS in general, is a great way to have all this happen for you and be waiting for you when you get home. So the Azure Store has some great apps. I showed you in the last video, part four. This is part five. I showed you in the last video, Download Center and Take Easy. Download Center is sort of like uTorrent, where you can put a link or a torrent file into Download Center and it'll download it automatically for you. You could use mobile apps, all this good stuff. Then there's Take Easy. Take Easy is a way to get like YouTube videos from your subscriptions and have them downloaded so you can watch them offline. There's FTP Explorer, which allows you to go to FTP sites, log in, and download content into your download folder and things like that. Now, we're going to talk a little bit more about torrents first before we continue on with all the great apps that the Zoo Store has. So, there are different ways to download content from the web, being that cable prices are jacking up and you spend tons of money. There's torrent sites. I have a private torrent site here, Torrent Day. And what you do on Torrent Day is if you find a show that you want, you basically, you just click on it. Uh, let's find one that I'm looking for, The Stream. That's a new series. And what you do is you download the torrent file right here. And you get a torrent file, and you can use Download Center, uh, Download Center here, uh, or you can use your uTorrent or Transmission. Or on your Mac, you can... On the Mac, you can download it using uTorrent, a program that you install, and it will download all these RAR files most of the time. And these RAR files are bits and pieces from everybody on the internet who has uTorrent, say for instance, or even Download Center. And you grab pieces, and then you put it all together at the end after it's all downloaded. Sometimes you manually do that. And you use programs like UnRAR. UnRAR is a program that takes all these pieces and puts it together to a final movie. But these are all manual steps that you have to take. You have to download uTorrent, configure it, have it all set up, keep your laptop at home or use a desktop. So we're going to show you, I'm going to show you how to do it on the NAS. So these are torrent files. And the thing about torrent files is that you have to seed back, especially when you're a private uh, torrent site. You have to seed all of what you download back. So your computer has to keep running. Other users leech and they pull all the content from where you have it stored. There's Torting, that's a sister site to Torrent Day, and that's also a sign up and an invite only. And you can download stuff, but you have to seed it and you use those two programs. Then there's direct sites that you have memberships to, where you can actually go in, get a movie that you're looking for, and then download it or stream it to your computer. There's Movie Land, there's TV Land, and you can download all these. And uh, that's pretty easy. They pretty much download into an MP4 file. But once again, you have to do it manually, and that's okay. You know, you want content. Now, there's Usernet. Now, these are NZBs. Now, NZBs are news groups, and it's a sort of like a server that grabs from everybody, and you don't have to see back. That's what the good thing is. But most of them, if they're any good, you have to pay for them, a yearly fee, a lifetime fee, or a monthly fee. And user groups, uh, you have to use programs like... Sab NZB, um, and you use this program, and it downloads the content. It, it it kind of indexes it for you, and you know you put it into certain folders on your NAS or even on your computer. Now these work on computers, Macs, you know Windows, but like I said, the best way to do it, I think, is with a NAS, a NAS, you know, with a whole bunch of drives in a big, large capacity. Then you can use Couch Potato, and Couch Potato is like a program that will automatically download, automatically unrar. Um, put them into folders that you specify, 
and then there's sick beard and sick beard is almost like the same thing as couch potato i like to use sick beard for nzbs and i like to use couch potato for uh, torrents but you can also use it for nzbs so let's get back to the azure store the azure store nas has all these great apps uh, sick beard couch potato and uh, sab nzb plus nzb get and then there's beta apps uh, new programs like nzb drone and then of course you could use uTorrent you could use transmission that's so you can download those torrents at bit torrents and then there's other things like emu xm xdm and then you can get ebooks and things like that and also music uh, downloaded so there's plenty and plenty of apps and to get these apps you just go into app central that's the azure store uh, their store and you basically just search through you can go into categories and get downloads and you can download all these different apps to run on your azure store it's all self-contained so say you download an nzb or a torrent file everything will be downloaded to the downloads folder and what's great about the azure store and using a nas is that when you let me close this when you go into file explorer after installing these apps you go into your downloads folder and there's already folders set up for you not like on the pc or the mac they kind of set them up for you but it's better that you get uh, use the Azure store and you can get all these folders configured like for instance you have complete incomplete log they set up everything for you and um, it's a very friendly way to get all your downloads the nice thing about having a downloads folder that all these programs send the content to and unroar it and do all that stuff is now you can use Plex and this Azure store uh, has Plex and Think about all of the device, all the devices, the gadgets that have Plex, smartphones, Google TV, Android sticks, and computers and everything. And you can use Plex. You get nice cover art, metadata, all that stuff. And now all this content that you download, the NCBs, the torrents, the direct downloads, can be in the downloads folder. And then you point Plex to that download folder on your NAS and you get all this great contents in a media center. Also, the Azure Store, this particular model that I have, the 304T, has um, a Azure Store portal, which has XBMC and has Chrome browser, and you can use Plex on it. And you can have all your content. You hook an HDMI to the back of the NAS to your TV, and you got all of your programs and they're waiting for you when you get home. Um, let's um, take a look now and see all the steps that we can do to get NZB set up, to get torrents set up. So let's go ahead and see what we have to do first. So the first things first, you have to look and into getting into a private torrent site like Torrenting or Torrent Day. You might want to subscribe to the Movie Land and TV Land. I'll put the links in the description to all these things. And you pay a lifetime membership of like 20 bucks and you're forever being able to download. You could download things that are still in the movie theaters and things like that still, you know, live on TV. Maybe they're a couple days later and they come out on TV. Now, as far as Usernet, there's a lot of Usernet sites, but some, a lot of times they get shut down. Their servers go offline. There's some, you know, you got to use multiple programs to get them downloaded. Uh, it's ideal way of doing it. And basically, you just sign up for something. You get an email, and the email will give you your login and a generic password. You just go in, sign in with those generic uh, credentials, and then you can always change it to a more friendly password and things like that. Then once you get in, a lot of these sites have a like your account profile. You go into your profile, and all you really need is the site API key, uh, your username and password, of course, and all that. So now let's get into the Azure Store, and I'll show you how to do all this.